Hello, today I would like to discuss probably the biggest mistake that managers make when selling warm aluminum windows and customers who buy these warm aluminum windows. The stereotypes that have come from the PVC market are that the deeper the mounting depth of the window is, the wider the profile, the warmer it is. It doesn't work in aluminum. In aluminum, you have to look at completely different things namely the two main things, the width of the thermal bridge and the heat transfer resistance. Regarding the width of the thermal bridge, the most common warm systems on the market are with a 24 mm thermal bridge. Here I have examples of Seal KPT-74 and Alutec W62. As you can see, the thermal bridge is this black thing that separates the two aluminum profiles, thereby making the aluminum structure warm. So, in the KPT-74 seal and Alutec W62 systems, there is the same thermal bridge with a size of 24 mm. These systems are similar in their characteristics, even though they have different installation depths. Often the mistake is that when, for example, competitors offered the seal KPT-74 systems for the customer, then managers from Alutec consider the Alutec 72 series, thinking that 74 and 72 are something similar, which means it will be similar in terms of characteristics. This is wrong. Please study the issue. Now you know about the 24mm thermal bridge. Here is a system with a 34mm thermal bridge, seal KPT-70 and Alutec W-72. Here is the thermal bridge on the sash and frame, I mean on the frame and sash, and in Alutec it is the same, 34mm wide. These are warmer systems, a class higher. You can see here, it's multi-chamber. I think the 72 series is warmer than the Seal 70, because here, between the thermal bridges, a foamed insulation is inserted, which significantly increases the thermal insulation characteristics of the window. A few more words, I'll go back. I wouldn't recommend installing these systems in residential buildings. These are for commercial facilities, shopping centers, stores, business centers, and so on. That is, non-residential facilities. This system, 70 or 72 or similar on the market, with a 34 mm thermal bridge, is installed in residential buildings, cottages, private houses, apartments, and so on. In these 62 mm systems, the heat transfer resistance is about 0.6. It's similar to the cheapest PVC window of the cheapest three-chambered profile. The indicator is about 0.6. Here, the indicator is 0.75. This is with a 32 mm glass unit and with energy-saving glass. If you put a warm frame, argon, multifunctional glass, two circuits, you can achieve an indicator close to one. This is a high quality PVC window. There is another stereotype that aluminum windows are cold. They are cold because the system is chosen incorrectly. There are very warm systems that are as good as PVC windows. Those were domestic systems, Seal and Alutec. There are foreign systems, Raiders and Shuko are the most common. I'll tell you about Raiders. They have a new systems, Raiders Masterline 8. So, it has exactly the same aluminum profiles, but the filling inside changes. The metal seal changes. As you can see, it becomes different. It changes here in the area of the glass unit. The insulation is inserted. The rubber is a little different here. That is, this means that they have three types of systems in terms of heat transfer resistance, standard, high, and high plus. As far as I know, in standard and high, the thermal bridge is of the same material. In the high plus system, it is slightly different. Here, this black thermal bridge is from a different material, which has greater properties. 
it has a lower heat transfer resistance, a lower coefficient of thermal conductivity. It transmits less cold. If you compare the cost, then radars will be more expensive than Alutec or Seal, but they will be similar in their characteristics. For example, this standard series will be similar to Alutec 62 series or Seal 74. The high series is something close to Alutec 72 series or Seal 70. The high plus series is a little higher class. So what to choose? People choose based on their budget, based on their wishes. It's like comparing a Mercedes and a Hyundai. Both are cars, but a Hyundai is not a Mercedes. So Rainers and Shoko are Mercedes. These are the key players in the market of aluminum structures and profiles in the world. Everything they have is of very high quality. High quality seals and thermal bridges, all sorts of accessories and so on. It's a real Mercedes. Some people choose it. Whoever has the money. Also, these Rainer systems are available in three designs. These are functional, straight, renaissance, with all sorts of bevels, and deco can also be chosen. You can choose in three different designs and in three different versions in terms of heat transfer resistance. I think that's very cool. Rainer's also has higher class windows. We'll get to that in a moment. This is a picture of the Rainer's master line as it looks in real life. But this is the basic version, the most common one. In different designs, traditional, deco and renaissance. That's what I wanted to talk about. It's Rainer's Sensity aluminum wooden windows. Don't confuse with wood aluminum windows, which have aluminum overlays on the outside. Aluminum wooden windows are when the basis is an aluminum structure, aluminum profiles, and wooden overlays are installed from the inside. And here is a comparison, Raider Sensory, this system, here it is, aluminum wood, and Master Line 8. As you can see, Sensory is even cooler, there is a thermal bridge with all sorts of elements and so on. Oh, I forgot to say that Sensory and Masterline 8 have a 40mm thermal bridge. That is, it's even larger, even wider than Alutec and Seal, which have a maximum of 34mm. As you can see, here Sensory has a very cool rubber on the middle seal that keeps the cold out. There are Italian wood overlays. This system comes only with covered fittings, so that the hinges do not spoil the expensive wood. Sensory is really cool. It's a Bentley. It's the coolest thing on the market right now. They are expensive, of course, but someone really likes it. Thank you for watching.